Of course, Nicki Minaj is under fire for her reason why she didn't attend the event last night. As most of you know, the Met Gala required attendees to receive the COVID-19 jab. Minaj tweeted, so let's talk more about this. With me now is BNC's chief med medical editor, Dr. Corey Abair. Thank you so much for being our first guest here at the Midday Jolt. You're welcome. I just sometimes these folks, man, I just, I just don't know. Let's hop to them. A lot going on. <laughs> Let's just share it with our viewers, though. We want to get to that tweet that Nicki Minaj shared where she's saying, talking about her not attending the vac uh, the gala because of the just she's not really done enough research on the vaccine. Mm -hmm. What do you feel with her tweet and, you know, how this affects all of her viewers? She has hundreds of thousands of viewers. Yeah, um, you know, I, I have to say that when you are in the public eye, you do have some responsibility uh, to, to, to say the things that need to be said, but also to be very cognizant of the amount of people that you're going to affect. Nicki Minaj is, you know, a, a obviously normal woman, you know, um, but at the same time, you know, you, you can't. You can't be a scientist until you have actually taken the classes in science. And I just don't really know how many ways we have to say this. You know, Nicki Minaj can't do any research to say whether she or should or should not take the vaccine because she doesn't have the basic knowledge and the basic acumen to be able to understand what molecular biology actually is. The only thing she's gonna be able to do when she talks about research is to talk to some people that will tell her some things and 99.8% of doctors would tell her that she needs to take the vaccine and uh, pretty close to the same amount of nurses would say the same thing. So she's going to probably uh, consult some conspiracy theorist and her cousin and her friends and then make a decision which isn't by definition research. And Dr. Abra, I mean, there's been so much research within the last year. How much more do people need to trust our medical experts? I mean, we're already in the works to get a second vaccine for full FDA approval. Yeah, it, it, at this point, if you've dug in that deep, you're just scared. And everybody is scared when you get something injected into your body. But you, you can't be emotional and yet be illogical. So, for example, um, Nicki Minaj probably when she uh, went to some college, I think she did, she probably had to get the meningitis vaccine, which was an emergency use authorization vaccine. And nobody knew about it because they weren't sitting at home uh, during a pandemic watching the news 24 hours a day, seven days a week, thinking about and, and tracking the progress of that emergency use vaccine. So she probably got that. Also, when you take a medicine like ibuprofen, every time you take one pill of ibuprofen, one pill, not if you take a bunch of them and not if you take it for a long time, each individual dose you take, you could have a disease called Stevens-Johnson syndrome that would come on you in about a couple of hours and all your skin would fall off, you would stop breathing and you would die. And if you don't believe me, just read the package insert. But nobody reads that. They pop them like Tic Tacs and Skittles all day because they don't really, they haven't ever done any of this research. So now they're just caught up in it and they just are scared. But you can't believe, like if you get sick, let's say Nicki Minaj gets sick tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She's gonna go in to to the hospital she's if she has COVID-19 and she's going to get pumped full of emergency use authorization medicines and other medicines that have been you know uh, uh, approved by the FDA so you can't have it both ways if you want to you know take that stance where you need to do more research and do more research on all of it and then don't take the medicines any of them Right. But you and can't take them, Doctor, you know? we have a lot of uh, young viewers right now currently watching. What is your advice to them if they're still vaccine hesitant at this time? Right. Um, you know, I, I would I would tell them that you need to listen to trusted sources. I mean, I have been a doctor and have done the clinical trials on all of these COVID-19 vaccines and, and a principal investigator and just I just got, you know, um, published in the New England Journal of Medicine on my research. You have to listen to people that have medical degrees and not just one person that has a medical degree, the, the body of it, because there's going to be people that have different opinions about all types of things. But you have to look at the statistical group of people that 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 the, the, the lion's share of, of people believe, meaning that right. if, you, if you have 15 friends, you're 17 years old and you have 15 friends that believe you should follow Nicki Minaj and you have one friend that says no, 
who are you going to believe? The one friend that says no, or the 15 that believe Nicki Minaj. So right. that's what you have to think about with the medical profession. 99.8% of doctors believe you should take this vaccine and take it quickly so you don't die. And and that's who you need to believe, not yes. anybody else. Good advice right there, Dr. Ebert. We are out of time, but thank you so much for your time and for being our first guest here at the Midday Jolts.